But I was uh, making my own for a while, studio. Well, ever since I was a teenager, but I used my name for a while in 2003. So by the time I started playing with the War on Drugs, I had like, you know, a seven per file CDR. Now I wanna change, I wanna stay the same. I want a girl and I don't want a man. I want a woman with me, I wanna sing around. Ah, damn. similar style that we developed together and uh, uh, it just so happened he got like our sort of record deal first so it made it look like in the press that like I was in the war on drugs and that was my first band and then I like left the band to pursue a solo career but in reality that was always I love playing the war on drugs like sometimes I miss it because I, I, I'm free you know I can just keep playing uh, but at the same time I my, 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 my music was always my focus. Of making that record, I 
put out my older stuff on like smaller labels, like Constant Hitmaker, so we put that out on Culture, and uh, you know, God is saying to you came out, and that was all my older home recording. Okay. So I developed this buzz, like kind of uh, organically myself. Uh, and then, so anyway, then Matador, through like some buzz from the smaller releases, when I finally did finish Childish Prodigy, they, they picked it up. I guess, but I'm, I guess I'm guessing getting a little sidetracked because the sound. But my point is because nobody was around when I was making that record. That was so it was more punk. It was like kind of a punk mentality, still DIY, a step above home recording, okay. a step above lo-fi. Right, but not not with a producer, not like aiming for like a, it was just be, me being myself. And the new right. one, right. the new album is that's me being myself too, but it's much more professional. Yeah. Uh, so that's the main thing, you know. Uh, Matador, I knew where the record was going. Matador was involved in encouraging me and you know help help you find a producer. Deeper. Yeah. I didn't do so they added their touch and Mike Zhang I didn't play any of the drums but it's, uh, it's his style but yeah the, the songs were basically all written they didn't even really know them I, yeah. I knew the song yeah I, it was my vision but you know I couldn't have done it without them they, their, their, their personality is definitely on the record yeah and so, alright and um what, where, where do you record it? um where? where? I record it in a lot of studios alright um, Magic Shop in, in New York, Water Music in Hoboken, Headgear in Brooklyn, Minor Street in Philadelphia, J. Maskis' right. Mas house in Amherst. <laughs> how, how, how long did it take? It took, I started in March, and I think we finished whatever, some song. You know, it was on and off, but uh, right. uh, the last recording was in the summer, this past summer. So that, that's, I mean, a few months, the whole, yeah, yeah right. But yeah, all same producer, so that's kind of how it. Okay. So cohesive. <laughs> it wasn't different producer or anything. Yeah. What did he say? What? It's, uh, I think it's like an American thing, and I think yeah. that is, you know, it's like uh, I'm influenced by those types of artists. It's not only that, but I, I can, I can hear what you're saying. I don't, I don't mind. All right. I take it as a compliment. It's not. There's never any. There's no like real country twang, but there's more like. Uh, I mean, I have roots just from growing up. My dad being into like bluegrass. Uh, old time music. And right. I'm a fan of like the early music, the blues, Delta blues, gospel, folk. So they're they're all in there, but there's never a, like no, there's never a country twang. It can be like a folk kind of blues thing, but no it, country. It's not like an insane feeling of a country. Uh, there probably is some kind of country scene that I, <laughs> but I'm not involved. I, I have no idea. Okay. Um, yeah, lyric-wise, lyric uh, do you write it like every day, or, no, I, or it's more like a random little... I, I, I wrote a lot, and I still write, but uh, I'm a little busier now, Sure. so I take it slow. I just realized the other day when somebody asked me about my, my lyrics, they were like, do you, do 
you just you care about your lyrics or you just throw stuff out there and I definitely care about my lyrics. So I, I think that um, I, I'm always fine tuning the, the lyrics. So lately, you know, I, I've been writing different, a few different songs very slowly because I'm always running around lately. So I'll like figure out one line when I'm spacing out. You know, yeah. And I write, make sure I write it down because I forget. I used to, yeah, I used to be have more time, but you know, I guess of course. that's how I got it. Yeah. Well, well, I mean. When do you think it's a good moment to, to write lyrics now? I mean, you, I, I'm just realizing that I have to do that like right away. I might forget. I, I don't always forget though. So they float around, but there's never. A, it just happens when it happens. You can't like, you can't just sit down and like, you know, summon the the, the, the ghosts or whatever. <laughs> You're going this weekend to UK to play at the ATP thing. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel about it? Very excited. Very. Huh? I'm a big fan of Animal Collective. Uh, Noah Lennox, Panda Bear. Who is Panda Bear? He invited. I think I got invited through him. Uh, not that the other guys. All right. Uh, they're, they're, you know, I'm super stoked. Basically, it, <laughs> it's a dream. I. They are a huge influence early cool. on the Animal Collective. I, I'll go see all their shows. Cool. Um, well, at last, but maybe, maybe not least, uh, if you could be so kind to, <laughs> to tell me the recipe if I did uh, uh, Philly steak. The rest of my what? The recipe. The re recipe. How to do a good uh, Philly steak. Philly steak? Yeah. Steak. Sorry, so Philly uh, steak. <laughs> steak! <laughs> so, Philly uh, steak is my, is uh, my What's the recipe? I don't know. I don't make them myself. Uh, the recipe for me is to go to uh, when I eat them is to go to the right place. Like oh, that well, steaks. What what we turn ingredients? I, mean, I have no idea. You have I, can't, idea. I'm not, I don't eat steaks. <laughs> right, thanks a lot. Uh,